Dan, first and foremost, congratulations on your new contract. How does it feel to commit your future to the club? Uh, thank you very much. Um, I'm absolutely buzzing. Um, ever since the start of the season, I've kind of wanted to, to get the new one. and I just don't think there's anywhere else for us to be right now. I think at the minute everything's going well. Um, I'm playing all the time and like I said, there's just nowhere else I'd, I'd rather be and rather be playing. So yeah, I'm, I'm delighted to be extending. Obviously this agreement is something that's happened incredibly quickly behind the scenes. That doesn't usually happen unless the player is just as keen as the club. Yeah, I think everyone knows that I love this club and I love playing for this club. And like I said, I, there was no, there wasn't really any other options apart from extending my stay. And uh, now that this is done, it's like time to focus even more on trying to get that end goal at the end of the season and and the other years that I've uh, signed for. Let's go way back to the start of your time at the club. You joined Age Day and have worked your way through the ranks. What would eight-year-old Dan Neal make of today's news? <laughs> he'd, be, he'd be absolutely buzzing. Um, yeah, like I said, it's just, just a dream come true to be playing in the first team. I, I didn't think it was going to happen this early, um, but now that it is, I'm just, like I said, enjoying every minute and just want more and more and more. And These next few years that I'm still here, hopefully I'll keep getting the experience and hopefully be playing in the higher divisions with Sunderland as well. And what have your family made of it? I know they're big Sunderland fans as well. Yeah, they're all massive Sunderland fans and like you said, it's happened really quickly so they haven't really had a chance to di digest it properly yet but um, yeah, they're all they're all buzzing for us and like this, they're just looking forward to the future as well these next few years. Does that make it easier for you or more difficult? Because I imagine when you're getting grilled in the stadium by them, you get it when you get back home as well. Yeah, of course, my dad's my biggest critic, so uh, I'm not really bothered what they say, it's my wee dad. Um, yeah, but like I said, I, I, I was once one of them fans that was grilling the players as well, so I know, <laughs> I know what it's like to, um, to be in the stands and I know how much they expect from the players and I, I, I quite like the pressure of being like a local lad playing for the team, so yeah, I'm, I relish the opportunity of playing in front of that crowd. We've obviously all seen the pictures of you in the past watching Sunderland. I'm sorry to bring them up again. <laughs> um, but was playing for this club always the dream for you? Yeah, 100%. Ever since I came full-time, I know it's been bad for the club that would be moved down to League One. Um, it has been a rough few years, but when I was full-time, when I first came in full-time, that was the first year in League One. And my target ever since I came in full-time was to get into this first team and be part of the, the rebuild phase of the club. and. Um, I wouldn't say I've cemented my place yet, but I certainly think I'm part of the squad. That's looking good, and there's a feel of good factor around the place. And yeah, I just wanna. It's always been my goal to get this club close or to where it belongs. I know you suffered an incredibly serious injury when you were 14. I think you missed 18 months of football. At that point in time, did you even think you'd be here right now? Yeah, um, it was a tough. It was a tough one, especially being so young. Um, I was doing really well. Uh, a few good things were happening around that time, and yeah, I got some some bad news. But I think it was a bit of a blessing in disguise at the same time. Um, I think it made us a lot mentally stronger, um, and it showed us how much football really means to us. And missing eighteen months or however long it was, it like really lit a fire in my belly to get back and and prove to everybody that it's not gonna it's not gonna lessen my ability and like I am going to get to where I wanted to be and so far I think I've, I've done all right on that front. So I was listening to do, you doing an interview the other day with the local media. They threw a few names at you in terms of former Premier League players who perhaps inspired you straight away. You said, no, no, Lee Catamon, that, that's my guy. You know, who were the players growing up for this club that inspired you? Like I said, around my era, like, when I was younger, growing up, it was like Lee Catamore, Jordan Henderson, even Grant Ledbetter, Jan and Via, people like that. Um, so yeah, obviously I've always been a Mad Sunderland fan and went every week. So then with the players that I watched all the time and then with the players that I looked up to. Um, so yeah, I've obviously always been a big fan of Catamore, that's why I said it. <laughs> obviously players like Cats, players like Grant, born in the North East, representing the football club, how important then is it that players like you, players like Elliot, have committed your futures at the club? 100%, I think it's building building for the future as well, building the foundations, we're both very young and um, yeah, I think I think the fans love nothing more than a local lad coming through, 
Um, so yeah, it's like getting me and Elliot tied down and building for the future. I think it's brilliant. And I think that's what the fans want. So obviously, you aren't the only young players, as we touched upon in the squad at the moment. There's been a big injection of youth over the summer. How much are you enjoying that atmosphere? Yeah, I think it's a great balance. I think you've got really good experienced lads that have been there and done it in the game, like McGeady and. Uh, Tom Flanagan, Bailey Wright, people like that. And then you've got the young lads like Callum Doyle, who's on 18, Dennis, same age as me. And I just think it's a great misc, uh, mix. Sorry, <laughs> um, Just like the young lads really want to prove that they can play first-team football. And obviously the older lads are desperate to get promoted because there's a few that have been in this league for a few years now and I think they're desperate to get out of the league. So... I think it's a really good mix between youth and experience, and yeah, the other changing rooms uh, is a good laugh and it's a good crack. So, in terms of on the pitch, standout moments so far. There's a couple to choose from. That goal at the Roker end, your first one for the club, that must have meant a lot to you. Yeah, it was probably one of the best days of my life, um, especially being when we left here as well. Um, but yeah, obviously, I've said I've dreamed of that moment for a long time, and I think I said after like that stand towards the corner was where me and my dad and my granddad used to sit and uh, I didn't consciously run to that corner because of that but I just found myself obviously because that's where it was running to that corner and when I thought about it afterwards I thought oh it's quite a quite a special moment and uh, yeah I would say that was my my best experience so far and obviously walking out for the first time to the big row so you obviously scored again earlier this month against Lincoln with the captain's armband on. You were one of the more exp ex experienced players <laughs> on that night, but how did it feel to walk out with that on representing the club? Yeah, massive. Whether it's Obviously, I did it in pre-season against Benny Moore, and this is the Papa John's. It's just like slowly, slowly trying to get us used to a bit more of a leadership role within the squad, and it's something that I want to do as well. I feel like I'm quite vocal on the pitch and off the pitch. Um, and yeah, like obviously it'd be a dream to be captain of this club one day. Um and these are little steps towards that. Um but yeah, like immense pride walking out with the captain's armband and yeah, just hopefully hopefully a few more experiences like that. So nineteen years old, long term contract, a winner at Wembley last season, goal scoring captain. It's not been a bad twelve months, but considering you've now committed your future and You've mentioned everything else that feels like it's going in the right direction around the club. You know, it must be only feel like the beginning for you. Yeah, definitely. I think it's signing this was massive because I know where I'm know that I'm gonna be here for the next four years and now like where well, it always has been my focus, but now I know that I'm definitely gonna be here and I just really wanna get the club and be part of getting the club back to where it belongs and, and also developing as a player, like I've really enjoyed working under this coach and staff, all the all the lads in the change room helping us and things like that. And I just feel like I'm on a good upward spiral at the minute, and I don't see why I would go anywhere else. So yeah, I'm I'm delighted to uh, extend my contract.